Chinese Vice President Han Zheng called on President Taman Shamugarim on Wednesday in his first official visit in his current capacity to Singapore. He was also hosted to lunch by Prime Minister Li Xinlong and met Deputy Prime Minister and Coordinating Minister for Economic Policies Hang Sui Kit. During Mr. Han's meeting with President Taman, the two leaders welcomed the close and long-standing relations between Singapore and China. President Taman and Vice President Han also discussed the importance of international cooperation to resolve global challenges. As well as investing in people and institutions, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs said in a statement on Wednesday. At the meeting between PM Lee and Mr. Han, both reaffirmed Singapore and China's strong bilateral relations, which were upgraded to an around high-quality future-oriented partnership in April. MFA also said they reaffirmed the importance of the Joint Council for Bilateral Cooperation GCBC as the apex bilateral platform for cooperation and look forward to fruitful discussions at the 19th GCBC, which will be held later this year in China. There has been good progress made in Singapore-China collaboration, including in our three government-to-government projects, of which the Sino-Singapore Tianjin Ecocity commemorates its 15th anniversary this year, said MFA. Additionally, Mr. Lee and Mr. Han also exchanged views on global and regional developments, including China-U.S. relations. During Mr. Han's meeting with DPM Hung, they discussed how Singapore and China could build on the strong foundation of cooperation and people-to-people ties to strengthen cooperation and to benefit both countries and the wider region. MFA said. On Tuesday, Mr. Han also met Senior Minister and Coordinating Minister for National Security Teo Chi Hin and exchanged views on global and regional developments and ways to further bilateral cooperation. As part of his two-day visit here, Mr. Han on Wednesday spoke at the Bloomberg New Economy Forum in Singapore and told the audience that China is ready to strengthen communication and dialogue with the United States at all levels.